Hello and welcome to another Monument or Memorial Monday. We are in North Burial Ground and we are at the Memorial of Edward Allen, which reads, and I hope that everybody can hear this, it's kind of windy today, so I'm gonna try to speak up. In memory of Mr. Edward, son of Mr. Edward and Mrs. Elizabeth Allen, who by misfortune was shot by a Negro soldier April 10th, 1781 in the 30th year of his age. Um, it sounds like Edward and a friend were a little distraught that there was a black military regiment in the Revolutionary War um, stationed in their city or town. Um, and so they went there and they caused a ruckus and they were yelling, swearing and making all kinds of threats and stuff. And one of the soldiers, Prince Green, shot him because he was causing a threat to the soldiers and to the regiment and um, kind of took matters into his own hands. And Prince was tried for murder. Uh, he was represented by a prominent attorney at the time and was found not guilty of murder, but guilty of manslaughter. So he was branded with an M for manslaughter on his body and was allowed to continue fighting in the Revolutionary War. Um, Prince was a violinist and a um, former slave. So he had escaped slavery and um, signed up to fight in the war. Uh, interesting to note though, he was enslaved in Rhode Island. So he, was, he didn't escape slavery in the South. Um, he was brought to Rhode Island, enslaved here and you know, escaped slavery here. So Edward's mother was very upset at the fact that Prince was found not guilty and was allowed to continue living his life and fighting in the war. So she made it a point to put on Edward Stone how he died. Um, and it was actually one of the only um, indicators uh, that people of color had fought in the Revolutionary War. Um, there were no records really kept of that. Uh, so this stone for a while stood as sort of a monument, not only to Edward's death, but also to, you know, the, all of the people of color, um, all of the formerly enslaved people um, who, you know, really sort of fought for this country and for our freedom. So this is Edward's grave, but a little bit of a story about Prince Green.